Today we will discuss uh, the other hot topic in swimming is what hips are supposed to do and uh, how we're supposed to manage our legs work. Um, about kicks in swimming it's a very simple thing. Um, the role of kicks uh, increasing with shortening distances to sprint distances and the opposite it goes less when it comes to the longer distances. Basically we are talking about three to five percent of legs kicks input into the total swimming time. So we will consider this in close method as a balancing uh, movement in swimming rather than uh, major propulsive uh, force generation. So kicking, just uh, keeping balance and uh, not over kick, not putting much effort there. It's just uh, keeping your body in streamline and uh, togetherness of the body, that your body will not separate in pieces. Uh, another thing is what hips do in swimming. Usually in uh, conventional swimming, hips considered as a power generating movement or something with propulsive force, which is not true at all. In both method, the hips are following just what body weight is shifting from one support to another. The role of the hips, very important uh, nevertheless, because you have to keep formed body by hips, uh, I would say density or coldness, or something what keeps your body in the water in a stable condition but no active movement and propulsive kind of force for swimming so in order to create this uh, proper relationship we have to understand that we have to always prioritize activity as a falling movement or shifting body weight from one support to another and hips are just following this activity which created by sh shifting support from one hand to another as I showed you before and hips should follow this movement and uh, in both method uh, drills there are lots of exercise devoted to developing this relationship so I will show you just in slow motion how legs are kicking behind when while you moving in one of the drills uh, body weight placing on the hand support and then you will see how hips are shifting while I'm doing, I'm doing stroke means shifting weight from one support to another first just kicks As you see, my feet are quite close to each other and they do a very simple work. And now with hips, it, it will be more uh, vigorous movement and you will see how it's happened shifting, following from one support to another. And usually we do this in the head out of water type of uh, uh, water polo drills which allows you to form very strong and dense position and very good shifting support this is our Topics today. Thank you.